Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and I hope this helped you out. Suppose that a kitchen sink can be filled in 4 minutes with the faucet turned on. If the sink is full, it takes 12 minutes to drain the sink when the drain is left open. If the sink's drain is left open and the faucet is turned on, how long will it take to fill the sink? So we're comparing the faucet to the drain. And what we know is that the faucet will fill the sink in 4 minutes and the drain will drain it in 12 minutes. And if we made this a rate uh, in per minute, so whether it's filling or draining per minute, we can see that the faucet would fill it one-fourth of the way per minute, and the drain would empty it one-twelfth of the way per minute. And we can represent that with a negative if we need to. So per minute, if we were to make an equation out of this, it would fill the sink one-fourth of the way per minute. But then at the same time, if it was left open, it would drain one-twelfth of the way per minute. Now the problem is we don't know how long it will take to fill up the sink. So we're going to need to multiply this amount by this, a certain number of minutes, x. And that would give us a full sink, 1, like this, okay? So 1 represents a full sink. A fourth represents how much is put into the sink for every minute. And this 1 twelfth, the minus 1 twelfth, represents how much is drained every minute. So from the problem, we know that it is filling faster than it is draining. Again, the thing is we just don't know how long x it's going to take to fill the sink. So, if we distribute that x, then we get this new equation right here. x over 4 minus x over 12 equals 1. But since these are fractions, what we, what we need right here is common denominators. Uh, and our lowest common denominator is 12. So I'm going to need to multiply this fraction, x over 4, by 3 in the numerator and denominator. And that gives us this new equation. Uh, but again, we need a denominator for all of the terms. So we need a common denominator for the 1 as well. So we have 1 times 12 over 12 which essentially just means we can make it 12 over 12, okay? So since we have common denominators throughout, uh, what we can do is just get rid of them now. And we have this new expression, 3x minus x equals 12. Then combining the like terms, 3x minus x would give us a 2x. And then finally we just divide by 2 on both sides, and we find that x is 6. And then... We just need to label what the 6 is. Uh, x was the number of minutes, so 6 is the number of minutes it takes to fill the sink. Alright, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, watch my other videos. I hope they help. And good luck with your math.